We have a young Brutus, a young shepherd that's still in training. We just want to show you something about the whole embark. Um, the perceived dangers is only because of poorly educated uh, rationale from some of these trainers there. The concern is, turn around, that if the intruder had a weapon um, and we sent the dog in for a hold embark, that weapon would just be used to kill the German Shepherd. But a well trained German Shepherd will also have the autonomous response. I'm going to send him in, then watch what happens. Put out! So you can see that the, the dog's spatial awareness and his training has educated him that any time there's an active limb that's being rained down on him, he should deliver a controlled bite. If the person stationary continue the hold and bark, it's a very, very clear order. I don't need to give the command to you. Out! Out! Flat! Now that's a silent guard. Be careful. Go and try and pick the weapon up again. As long you're, as you're staying still, you haven't got a problem. Now, there'll be a group of people saying, well, you know, if the dog is running at you, um, we, you, you wouldn't want to stay still. Well, my response is don't be a thief, and then you wouldn't have a problem. Simple as that. Again, we'll show you. Out! Ah. Flax! Flax! This is dog is still in training. Try and pick the weapon up. Ah. No trouble. The hold and bark will work very well. And when there is potential threats, um, the dog will react autonomously from the training. So we have an eye hidden up, he's got a weapon. This dog is going to go in without a handler, do a hold and bark. I'm going to stay here and we're going to see the autonomous response when the criminal tries to cut his head off. For now! There's a dual exercise in this where he's also now uh, being encouraged to use his nose to search um, and he gets better in every single session. The dog is, you know, circa 17 months old and he's able to free search by himself. Um, he's picked up the odour and, uh, you know, he's gone through the window to uh, apprehend the criminal. The hold and bark, I firmly believe in it. Um, and the, the risk to the dog is highly mitigated by the appropriate education. You know, the, 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 there's a meat cleaver, and quite rightly, we need to be very concerned about the safety of the animal. But even from a distance, and this is a dog that's in training, not fully trained, the dog has already started to master the principle of self-defense, autonomous defense. That's the most important thing. There are times that the dog will make decisions in the interest of the handler and of itself. But that must be purely well-educated. No chance. Out! Attack the dog again. I'm going to out him all the way from here and he should go into a silent guard. Out! Attack him. The more varied skill set the canine has, the more dynamic the canine can be. It's only a training center that has no skills that would limit the knowledge of the canine.
It makes no sense. It's like sending a child to school and opting out of doing maths because the child can do English. Or doing English and maths and opting out of biology. For a rounded education, we need to do all of the above. But as we know, there are many schools that are very, very poor at teaching. Just like there are many training centers that are piss poor at teaching dogs on how to protect themselves.